Okay, another movement from angle number five is she's going to poke again. I'm still going to make the same entry. I'm going to zone up with my left, brush, check, and disarm with my leg this time. And the reason I want to disarm with my leg is because I want to use that leg anyway to step behind her. And why waste the movement? So I brush, check, disarm, step behind her because as I'm making this backward throw, if I don't step behind her, she can just backpedal out of this. So I step behind her, put a little pressure against her heel, and make this throw. One more time. Okay, we'll change angles on that. It's a good idea, once you make this disarm, to use your alive hand to make sure she doesn't straighten this arm out or try to extend this way. Because if we're just here and she's able to extend, or she's able to just make me eat her elbow, so I want to make sure that that's more difficult for her to do. So one more time from this angle. 